and we're here at JetBlue Park joined by former Red Sox pitcher Manny Del Carmen. Manny, we just heard Eduardo's comments. Just kind of what do you make of it and what the, the message that Alex Cora is trying to send? Uh, for the most part, like you said, I got to talk to him a little bit today, actually with Louis Tion sitting in a golf cart. And, uh, you know, it's for the most part, you know, then he needs to keep the pitch count down. And, uh, and Louis Tion made a joke about it saying, I've been telling you for the last three years, but Eduardo knows it. This is a big year for him. I think he's going to have a breakout year. But he definitely needs to, he's been working on a lot of stuff this spring, and I think he's going to have a good year. And another person who's been working on a lot of stuff this spring, Rick Porcello. He threw live BP today. Pretty much the entire team was back there. Do you think he's ready to go? Uh, he looked good. I mean, the ball was down. I mean, Leon, I mean, being friends with Leon, I looked at him, and he goes, oh, he looks pretty good. So it's, uh, you know, he's working on a new pitch, uh, a two seam changeup this year, which he got uh, advice from Eduardo Rodriguez, believe it or not. A young guy actually giving a veteran guy advice. And, uh, but it's going to be a really good pitch for Porcello. Uh, he thinks it's going to help his repertoire this year, and I think he needs a bounce back year, and I think that's going to help him. And Manny, how difficult is it to make that adjustment at this point in his career? I mean, it just shows that Rick Porcello, you know, he's, he's willing to do changes. He wants to better himself from last year. I mean, he didn't have a, like a, a really bad year last year, but he definitely wants to improve. And that changeup is really going to get him there this year. And, uh, you know, just having a two seam opposed to a four seam is really going to change it. The hitters are going to have someone else to think about. And the entire staff was out there watching him in addition to Pedro Martinez, Derek Lowe. What does that say about the camaraderie on this team? Uh, it definitely shows, you know, how close this team really is. Um, you know, you see David Price out there, Valdi was sitting behind the, the screen back there with Eduardo. It just shows that they want to pick each other up, uh, be able to see little things that they can't see. And maybe Porcello might have questions for Chris L or some of these starters later on, like, what did you see? How can I improve? And it definitely shows that they're a unit, and that's why they're all out there. And we saw Dustin Pedroia working out the other day, and it looks like he is going to make his first start on Thursday. You talked to him. Do you think he's ready to go? Uh, like I said earlier, he, he was hitting some balls in deep center field, which I've never seen him do before. But uh, he's definitely looked really good running the bases. Uh, he swung the bat well. Uh, I got a chance to talk to him after after his uh, his BP session, and he said he feels great. You know that he's ready to get out there and help the team. And I mean, we might see him on Thursday or or Sunday or something like that. So it's uh, definitely he's definitely excited, and I'm happy for him. I was gonna say we'll see Dustin on Thursday, Rick Porcello on Sunday, and then the entire staff after that should be a very exciting week here at JetBlue Park. Manny, thanks for joining us. Thank you.